Amazing people is a wonderful morning here. And today I want to share with you another assured tip you need to understand to reduce modality. Now, straight to business. In recent times, let me say for the past productions, I always record huge numbers of mortality. And uh, despite the fact that my water parameter is okay, the oxygen level of my water is okay as well. And all that parameters, they were well taken care of. Yet, I still recorded huge numbers of casualty, huge numbers of mortality. Now, as you know, once your fishes dies, your profit margin is reducing. So, what I actually did came into being like six days ago when on the job i got the inspiration to just skip night feed normally i used to feed my fries if i'm available at home or around their vicinity i feed them like eight times in a day but if i'm away i used to make sure i feed them four times in a day actually feeding your fishes we help them grow faster just like I told you in some other video but and also let me just say this again overfeeding your fishes your fries now will not kill them because once they are filled they will not eat again they can they cannot take it again but do you know the excess feed in that water body in their pond can start decaying and by the time it starts decaying um, it's abos viruses bacteria whichever pathogens it abos it and eventually it will affect your fishes so that is why we always tell you don't overfeed or don't pour excess feed in the water body now back to our discussion so i've always been uh, feeding them and the latest time for the night feed is always by 11 p.m. Despite the fact that I used to feed them, okay, let me say if I'm to feed them for uh, eight or four times in a day, the last feed is always around 11 p.m. And before, when I had the luxury of using um, two, three thousand liters water, I used to pump over the night, but right now I've already moved one to the farm, so I have just one 30,000 liters left, which makes it very difficult for me to pump over the night because I have to sleep. Of course, I have to sleep. Now, part of what I now did is that instead of feeding them around 11 p.m., I decided to give them the last feed around 8 p.m. because I'm going to sleep by 10 p.m. So by 10 p.m. I would have filled their tank with water and that 3,000 liters will last for at least four hours. Okay, at most four hours. So which means if I'm to sleep by 10 p.m., the water will still last them till 2 a.m. in the midnight. Now, I made use of a rator. And um, in the previous times, despite the fact that I still use a rator, I still recorded casualty. So, since the time I stopped feeding them around 11 p.m. and making my last feed for the day to be around 8 p.m., I've never recorded even single mortality like this. So, which makes it a tip I'm sharing with you so if you are also having the same challenges with me so I think the best thing is skip the night feed even if you don't have a rate of skip the night feed so that at least the the water they've already consumed the the feed you've already given them will not have impact the, on them because if they have a bloated stomach you won't know, you won't know <laughs> you won't know and the fries they die easily because of any slight 
outbreak or discomfort. So I want to believe you are deriving value in watching this tip and I want to believe you will also apply it and make sure in the comment section below this video if you try this and you saw results feel free to comment so that people will know this method is working as for me it's worked for me and that is why I'm sharing this tip with you so make sure you subscribe to this channel if you have not subscribed without you we cannot build a community i want you on this channel you're welcome and stay safe corona is real bye for now